Hi guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl Ruka. And Big Boy Summer here bringing you episode 11 of Tomodachi Game. Hot Yuchi is here to stay. He went out like a boss. He decided to beat Yakutaro's ass on the phone so that Captain could hear him getting his ass beat. And then he said, you know what? Since you won't press the give up button, how about we just start breaking fingers? Oh my god, I loved it. But of course, Yuchi had to be a little bit soft and break his own finger. But you know, at least he made the captain fearful. Yeah, Yuchi is a badass. Okay, look, last episode I was scared. I was like, oh my days, I'm in my feelings. They're gonna make it through the next episode. How could they lose? Blah, blah, blah. Yuchi told me, nah, boy, how could you doubt me? I'm obviously the Don, and I'm sorry, Yuchi. How are you gonna beat a guy on the phone and then tell the guy, wait, 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 one second, I'm gonna gag him so that he can't make any noise, but I'll break his finger and <laughs> make you press the button. What a flipping G. I like this guy, he's here to stay. I wanna see more of this, but it's episode 11, so there's not too much more this season. So I did not doubt Yuchi. I had already said that I still felt like they were going to win and Team K were going to lose. I just wasn't sure exactly what that was going to look like, but I already knew that he was going to do that. Also, I loved the way Tenji was like, oh, you know, you think you're a bad person, but you're actually a really good guy. And then Yuchi was like, hell, had he not pressed that button, I would have actually started breaking fingers for real. And I was just like, yes, just Yuchi. <laughs> I don't know. I like that kind of sadistic thing in my characters. I don't know. It's a lot of fun watching them be a little bit crazy, a little bit off tilt. Are you okay? Every time we talk about Yuchi, like, you're, you're getting a bit too into it. Because I love characters like Yuchi. I love characters like him. Also, I was right when I said at the end of the last episode, it seemed as if Tomodachi Game had let everybody free. But I just couldn't figure out why on earth they would have done that. But from the scenes, the small amount of scene that we saw, it was clear that it was present. And we found out that Tomodachi Game has let them all go between this last game that they've just had and the next one. But of course, things are just not going to run that straight. So when Yuchi and Tenji get back, they see Kokorogi doing what Kokorogi does best, crying on the floor. And <laughs> they find out that Shio is missing and Shibe has a bunch of weird things going on. And it seems as if his dad has been murdered. And who turns up to yet another crime scene that seems to be involved with Tomodachi game? It's Shio Daddy. Exactly. He's here again and it seemed as if he was threatening our guys. Like, what do you think you're doing, Shio's dad? And obviously, our guy Yuchi had to open up his mouth and be like, yo fam, I got no one I care about in it. So come get me if you want. And so they went got Kokoroki. <laughs> Which gives me questions. So I'm thinking one out of two things have happened, and because I think that one out of two things happened, it's probably something else. But I think either the phones that Tomodachi game gave them are bugged and that's how they heard the conversation or Shio's dad is really seriously involved with Tomodachi game and went and reported their conversation to management. He's a police officer. If he wants to get surveillance, he can. Every single time he's at a top crime scene. So he must be a detective at the very least. All he has to do is go, yo, give me surveillance. Tomodachi game's got strings. It's it's not hard. I think both are correct. Do you get what I mean? So they threaten management, bro. They're going for the top guys. <laughs> he even had the boss to say, yeah, I knew you were management. Go so that's why I didn't feel sorry when I chucked you off a cliff. Go tell your guys I'm coming for it. Look, Uchi is tap. He's the kind of tap that you like. I get it. And I get why you like him, because me too. But do you have to be this brazen all the time? Management, I'm coming in. Management, I'm coming. Like, come on, fam. Tone it down a bit. Save that for the games. Nah, Yuchi, do everything that you're doing because I love it. But, you know, I am really side-eyeing Kakaragi yet again. And I really hope that I won't end up regretting my extreme suspicion that I've had around her character for, for like a lot of episodes now. I don't know what it is, but I just can't. It just doesn't sit right with me. She just keeps popping up so conveniently. I don't know. It just feels off. 
and then yet again she's the one that gets captured the innocent damsel in distress attitude i'm just not buying it especially because in this anime we keep seeing that no one is is what they seem to be kokoroki is the only character that actually seems to be what she is which is making me pull away from her even more thinking there's got to be something else with this girl you're just here waiting for the gotcha moment isn't it yes and that's cool no worries but i just want to know one thing she old daddy is part of this whole tom and dachi game thing allegedly so Shio going missing kind of puts his life in danger of it, doesn't it? Or has he put her underground to make sure that she don't do anything stupid? Like, could Shio Daddy be the one in, in charge of where Shio is? Look, we don't know because there's still a big massive question mark around Kenji's dad's passing and Shio's involvement in that. So we don't know if this is a father-daughter duo where they're just really kind of psychopaths and they're working together or if she was actually innocent and her dad's not or maybe they both are and they just seem to be off because of the coincidences that are happening we just don't know he could very well be keeping her under wraps but i would say that if he was really that involved with tomodachi game she would have to be in on it on some level because he needs to be able to protect her from herself we all know that if you say anything about tomodachi game they can ruin your life they can end your life so he would have had to do something to protect her i don't think he would send her in unaware yeah yeah you're right she has to be part of it but you know what we've been speculating and speculating and then yet we don't know what's going on and then when they tell you how it happened you're just like oh my god this is genius so what do you think the next game is going to be about because like they made it very vague the weak win like it's it actually sounds deep though doesn't it but what kind of things are they going to do like make someone put their hand through a hole in a box that they can't see and then it has spiders in it or something i don't know that's so pathetic compared to what he said that you would never see her again and your worst case scenario is some spiders given the fact that the last scene we saw her in was actually her clothes getting ripped off and the worst thing you can think of is some spiders in a hole please if you're not even watching this anime just stop talking about it you know what guys uh big boy sam is about to leave out of the rest of this episode and i'm gonna finish it out <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm messing, I'm messing. I don't what, even know what to say, what the f <laughs> What actually interested me most about what was said in terms of Kokoragi was that the weak can cry out and they'll be seen as weaker and so people will go easier on them. And that just makes me think something's off with Kokoragi even more. Because no one is that, okay, maybe there are people that are that sweet and innocent and cry a lot. But I don't know any of those people. Yeah, you do. They're called children. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> <laughs> children do it all the time. But when you grow up, you realise the world sucks and then you stop. <laughs> I actually think that this game that they're playing is seriously an impromptu game that they might not have been planning on. I feel like they were let loose because Tomodachi Game wanted to test out what they would do with their freedom and see if these loose lips will actually sink some ships just before they completely let go of all of their control at the end of the game they've got someone who has come back to the game someone who is threatening to end all of management and they've got someone who was potentially involved in a different tomodachi game and possibly involved with one of their staff members so there's a lot of things going on with these characters that would make the management want to look over them a little bit more so i think that the reason why this game started was because Tenji and Yuchi decided to go and put their mouths in Shibe's situation. And Tomodachi Game obviously would want to see this whole thing play out. I mean, they got followers. They got followers more than we do. And we're good. So, you know, they're going to be making money off this Tenji Yuchi thing. Because whether Yuchi and Tenji win or lose, that's still sponsorship, that's still membership, that's still views, and that's still them making money. They don't care about the debt at this point. Who, who's going to pay off all this debt? 10 million yen. Who's got 10 million yen? You stole kids. These are students. They got no money. So you're making all your money through views and pay-per-view and stuff like that. So this is the kind of stuff that they want. No, if you think about it, right? Go on. Something, something was said in one of the episodes where it was like, you owe this money to Tomodachi Game, so we're going to take it out of your life. Now, if you think about Shio's dad again, 
the fact that he's well placed, he's a police officer, he can do a lot of things in terms of crime scenes, he can say that maybe it's accidental when it might not be. He's maybe paying he's paying his debt. He's paying we don't know debt. how they're going to claw back these debts and it doesn't mean that they have to do it immediately. Yes, they're kids, but they're not always going to be kids. They're going to get jobs. They might get high ranking jobs that can further help Tomodachi Game. Let's think about it. How are Tomodachi Game staying so quiet? Under the radar, no one has reported them, yet they seem to have all these multiple games going on at the same time where they're doing things such as murder. Even if they don't do anything untoward to Kokoragi, just ripping off her clothes is, that's enough. Especially for Kokoragi. Like seriously, it's a, trick, it's a trigger, isn't it? So you've yeah. kidnapped people, you've drugged them. There's a lot of crimes that are literally going on, even though the games themselves don't always seem criminal. There's a lot of things that they're doing where these people can't leave. They can't just say, "Oh, I want to go home now." So how are they staying under the radar? They're probably collecting debts from multiple people higher up. Never thought about it that way. That's a good way of thinking. I think that's where we should end. What about you? Apart from the fact that I think that Kakaradagi should have got one slap from Yuchi when she was carrying on with herself. Oh my god, tell me! Tell me what's going on! I mean, seriously, Yuchi's right. Even though he did it to protect her, everything well, he said he was true. The knowledge. Oh, that was a dead dog. You turned your back on me straight away, and the only reason why you waited around, you're trying to use that as like. Oh, I waited to find out the truth. No, you were told to wait for the truth and that's why you did it. You didn't do it from any kind of loyalty to me. But yeah, we should end it here. Yeah, so on be, yeah. that note, guys, let us know what you thought of this one in the comments. If you made it this far, we do really, really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Peace.